today for Dr. Rhymes. I'll just be um, doing a little checkup for you, asking some questions, and just making sure everything is all set and ready before you see our doctor today. Okay? So, first of all, let me just get you checked in here. Could I please have your name and date of birth? Right, and yeah, month, day, year, please. Okay, great, thank you. Now I'll just be asking a few questions about your general um, health and well-being and your daily routine. So first of all, um, do you exercise? And if so, how many times per week? And um, for each occasion that you do exercise, uh, how long is it? Okay. Yeah, we recommend like 30 minutes to an hour. Depends on um, the intensity of the activity as well. And then what sort of activities do you do? More of like a weightlifting or more cardio, like running or walking? Now I'm going to ask about your diet, so could you tell me, um, in a day, what would you typically have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. And... Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. We do recommend that you get in a good amount of fruits and vegetables and enough protein for sure especially if you're active, um, I would recommend for you a multivitamin. You can just pick it up at pretty much any grocery store, drug store, yeah, you don't need to go anywhere fancy or special to get multivitamin. Okay, and next, do you drink alcohol? Okay, and how often do you drink? Gotcha. And do you smoke? Okay. And um, do you have any family history of any disease or sickness or just any notable things in your family lineage? Okay, yes. Thank you for telling me that. Now, would that be on your mom's side or your dad's side? Okay, gotcha. And have you seen any signs of that in yourself um, to this point in time? Yeah, just because something is in your family history doesn't mean it will be in your genes as well or even show through. But it's just something we like to be aware of for future precautions. Okay, do you have any history of any surgeries? Mm. Yeah, anything, no matter how big or small. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And are you taking any medication? Mm. Gotcha. And how often is that one? Okay, gotcha. Very, very good. Do you have any complaints about your general well being? Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take note of that. Be sure to bring up any questions or concerns with um, the doctor. Okay. And when was the last time you had a checkup? Okay. We recommend one time a year. At your age, um, one time a year is fine, just enough. So I'm glad to see you in here today. Mm hmm. looks like it's everything for my questions for you so let me just get started on our basic checkup um, I'll be checking some of your cranial nerves I'll be checking your lungs your breathing I'll be checking your heart and listening to it I will do an examination of your skin and I'll be checking your reflexes 
um, just making sure everything is in order and no concerns. And lastly, I'll also be doing a scalp check for you, okay? Before we get started, do you have any questions for me? Anything at all? Okay. <laughs> and also, before we get started, do I have consent to touch you today during this examination? Okay, great. Thank you. And if at any time you're uncomfortable or in pain, please let me know. Okay, great. First things first, um, I'll be checking some of your cranial nerves. First of all, I will be checking your optic nerve for your eyes, okay? So I want you to look at these fingers, look at my fingers please, okay? And tell me when they leave your field of vision, when I move them and when you can't see them anymore, okay? And just look straight ahead right here at my nose, okay? Yes, don't follow the fingers, look right at my nose. Okay, let me know when they leave your field of vision. Going a little bit faster now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, just one. Good. This side. Good. Okay. Mm hmm. Check that one off. Good, very good. And now I want you to take a look at this pen. First of all, can you tell me what color is this pen? Okay, yeah, like a turquoise, blue, or green. That's good. Very good. And I want you to follow this pen as I move it back and forth. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes right here, right here. And I will just be moving it in a circle. Moving it this way. Back and down, back and down. Mm hmm. Okay, you can't see anymore. Okay. Circle. Okay, and then again, I want you now, instead of following the pin, look right here at my nose. Right there at my nose, please. Do not follow the pin with your eyes, just look at my nose. And tell me when this pin leaves your field of vision. And now let me know when the pin enters your field of vision, when you can see it. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. No problem with that. And now I'll just be doing a quick color check. So I'm going to show you three pins of the same color group. For example, three blue pins. And I want you to tell me which is the lightest shade of blue. One, two, or three? Two, very good. Okay, I'm gonna switch it around. And now you tell me which one is the lightest. One, two, or three? One, good, good, good. And now I want you to take a look at these two these two pins right here and tell me which one is the pink one and which one is the blue one. I'm going to push them around. Okay. Which one's the pink one? Mm-hmm. Which one's blue? Okay, yeah. Doesn't seem to be any issues with your color perception. So I will just be making a note of that. Very, very, very good. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for your optic nerve. Now let me get, let me get something for the next part of our test here. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to smell something for me. Let me open this for you. I'm ask you to smell this. And you just let me know what it is that you are smelling. Mint, yes, very good. Mint, mm hmm, like peppermint. Okay, and put this one aside and I'll grab a different scent now. 
And what does this one smell like to you? Lavender. Mm. Yes, lavender. I love the smell of lavender. Okay, and we'll be doing... Doing one more, excuse me. Grab this over here. Okay. Now you tell me. Can you smell this? Lemon. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, there don't seem to be any issues with your olfactory system. Um, has there been any issues with your sense of smell at all lately? No, okay, I didn't think so yet. Yeah, you did very, very well with that. So, let me just take a note. Okay, okay. Alright, and now for this next section, again, let me get our materials for the next one right over here. Okay. Now I'm going to be putting some flavor on this tasting paper and I'm just going to be putting it on your tongue and you tell me what it tastes like, okay? Okay, so let me take this one over here. Okay, okay. Ready? What does that taste like to you? Chocolate. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like chocolate too. Okay, let me get a different one now. Okay, okay, okay. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, what does this one taste like? Orange. Very good, very good. Okay, and we'll do two more now. Okay. Let me know whenever you're ready. coffee. <laughs> yes. Very good, very good. Let me get our last flavor here. Mm. Okay. And what is this one? Strawberry. Very good. Alright, wonderful. And as expected, there don't seem to be any issues with your sense of taste either. Just take a note of that. Okay, now I'm going to be whispering a series of numbers in your right ear and your left ear, and I want you to repeat them back to me, okay? Okay, so I'll be getting closer to you, if that's alright. Okay, first your right ear now. 47, 52, 21. Did you hear that? 47, 52. Very good, okay, and now the left ear. 77, 82, 13. 77, 82, 13, yes, okay, okay. Now we'll be saying a few words, the same thing, and please tell me what you hear, okay? Get close to you. Elephant, elephant, elephant. Okay, good. Alright, peanut butter, peanut butter. A butter. Wonderful. Thank you for that. Okay. Now, do you wear any hearing aids by chance? Okay. Alright, so that's all for your cranial nerves. Now I'll just be observing your face up close. I'll be starting with your eyes. Okay. So, me just take a look first of all. Can you blink a few times for me? Okay. Now over here at your right eye, I'll just be looking um for any enlarged veins in your eyes, any yellowing of your eyes, um, any dilation as your eyes should not be dilated right now since we're in a light room. They don't seem to be, that's very good. Now, um, have you had any eye infections or an infection of your eyelid or eyelashes? Any issues with any of those things? Okay, it does 
doesn't seem to have any problems here. Okay, now let me look at your left eye too. Okay, just... Yeah, I'm not seeing any signs of concern. Do you wear contacts or glasses? Okay, okay, and do you wear glasses for long distance or for like reading glasses? Okay, I got you. And when was the last time you went to the eye doctor to get that prescription updated? Are you still happy with your prescription? Okay. Alright, sounds good. Now I'll be taking a look at your mouth. Um, can you open for me? Uh, I'm just checking to see. Thumbs are pink. The tongue appears to be in good condition. And smile for me. Okay, and um, how regularly do you visit the dentist? Yeah, we recommend twice per year, but I know sometimes it's hard to get there <laughs> that often. But it looks like you've been keeping up with things in there. No signs of concern. Okay, and now if you could just turn to the side for me and I'm going to take a look in your ear, okay? Okay. okay just so move your hair out of the way a bit. And... And what I'm seeing it's a bit of build up earwax, but that's nothing um, worrisome. Yeah, there's really no problems with that, completely normal. Um, yeah, but what I'm looking for any lumps or bumps, lesions in the ear, and I don't see any at all. Do you ever have any pain or loss of hearing in this ear? Now, if you could please turn to the other side, and I'll be looking at this ear now. Yes, 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 please let me look at this ear. Okay. Mm. There seems to be a small bump right there. Looks like it could be an ingrown hair, just a clogged um, pore. That's absolutely no problem. Is there any pain when I touch this area? A little bit of tenderness, okay. Yeah, I'll make a note of that for the doctor and we can see what we can do about that. Um, but absolutely no problem. As long as it doesn't become infected, we can just easily remove it. No problem, okay. Yeah, let me take a note of that real quick. And that was your left ear and the outer canal. Okay. Yeah, it's absolutely nothing to worry about. You know, what causes that if you wear earbuds a lot, and let's say you're working out and you're listening to your music, sometimes it gets a little bit um, warm and moist from the sweat in there, and it can clog the pores. That's pretty natural, though. Absolutely nothing to worry about. All right. Lastly, your nose, if you could just breathe in and out for me. Okay, do you ever experience any clogging of your nasal cavities? Okay. Yeah. Do you have seasonal allergies by chance? Okay. Yeah, sometimes with the seasonal changes, that's um, totally normal. And it can definitely give you a stuffy nose, which is a little irritating, but yeah, some over-the-counter allergy medicine can help out with that, as I'm sure you know. Alright, everything of your the head and face area is looking good, looking good. Okay, so next I'm going to listen to your lungs. Mm-hmm. So, just my stethoscope will be placing it on your chest here if you don't mind and I'm going to ask you to breathe in and out with me very slowly 
Okay, ready? Breathe in. And out. Okay. Again, in. And out. And in. Okay, out. Okay, and I'm just going to put it behind you here on your back and just listen. Once more, can you go in? And out. Okay. Sounds clear. Doesn't seem to be any fluid in the lungs, which is a good thing. Okay. Now, one more time. But this time, can you just breathe normally? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just listening. Listening to your heart and taking our pulse. My watch here, and we will wait thirty seconds starting now. <laughs> I know that seems like it takes an eternity, but just 30 seconds, yeah. Heart rate is good, and beat is regular. Very good, very good. Yeah, that one will be your resting heart rate. Okay, and now we are going to be doing your blood pressure, so... You know how this goes. If you could please just give me your arm and I will wrap around you. And you'll feel a bit of pressure as I increase the tightness here. Okay, ready? And Very good, don't worry. And okay, I'll take that off of you. I know it's a little bit uncomfortable, but your blood pressure is a little bit low, but I think for your age and your height and weight, that is absolutely normal. Yeah, I have low blood pressure as well. Do you ever have any dizziness when you get up too fast? Okay, yeah, that's to be expected with low blood pressure. And it's just something we gotta deal with, but yeah, not too um, bothersome or anything. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to be doing an uh, overview of your skin. I will start out with the skin on your face, okay? So I'm going to be looking for any lumps, bumps, or lesions, or just any signs of skin cancer, any precancerous spots. That is um, definitely something we want to look out for and catch early. Okay. And how often do you go out in the sun? to get some sun because we do need our vitamin D. However, um, if you're in the sun for a long period of time, more than about 15 minutes of direct sunlight, I do recommend wearing sunscreen, wearing a hat to protect your face. Okay, now if you could just look up for me, I will be checking the skin on your neck here. Okay. Take a closer look. You have what looks like a freckle or a mole right here, but I'm just gonna take a closer look to make sure it's round. 
so what we look for is the texture, the color, and the shape. We want to make sure it's round and somewhat symmetrical and that there's no jagged edges or any um, uneven color. Because those are all signs of cancer, pre-cancer of the skin. So, yeah, this appears to be round and solid in color. No jagged edges. So I would say that's just a typical mole. However, I will make note for the doctor to take a closer look at, okay? But I'm sure it's nothing to be concerned about. Okay, okay, and now I'm going to be checking the skin on your hands and your fingernails as well, if you would just give me your hands here. Okay, and the skin is even in texture. A little bit dry, which is normal in the winter season. Um, and if I press the skin and it becomes flushed, let's see, I like to... Yeah, okay. And it returns back to its color in just a few seconds, which is good. So your blood circulation is adequate. Okay, and I'll be taking a look at your fingernails. Um... They seem strong and sturdy, that's very good. Okay. Okay. If I press on them, yes, the circulation seems to be good as well here. If you could just roll up your sleeves for me, I'll be checking the skin on your arms. The hair seems to be even distribution of the hair on your arms, that's very good. See here on your left arm you have a scar that looks pretty new, so I would just be careful to leave that out of the sun as it continues to heal. We don't want um, any direct sunlight on any scars, especially fresh scars as they're continuing to heal, okay? So if possible, keep it covered or sunscreen, I recommend for sure. Let me just take a note of that for doctor to examine a little bit more closely, okay? Mm. Alright. Now finally I'll be examining your scalp and your hair. It's okay if I touch that. Yeah. So just looking at the hair as it comes out at the roots. Appears to be evenly distributed and thick. And not too dry. There is an appropriate amount of oil on the scalp, which is very good. No, just scratch. It's a tiny bit of dandruff, but um, nothing alarming to be concerned about. The hair appears to be strong and healthy. It's not brittle. Now just be palpating and feeling for any bumps or lumps. Um, can I ask, have you hit your head in the past six months at all? Okay. Yeah, it's looking good. I'll just look over on this side. I'm also going to go through with this and just look a little bit more closely at your scalp, okay? Just look for or any, perhaps any lice, which can happen, but it's nothing crazy, nothing to be freaked out about, but I'm not seeing any of that. Okay, and also just look for any other uh, spots on the scalp as well. A lot of people don't know you can actually get skin cancer, cancer spots on your scalp. Those can be hard to find until it's pretty far along, so we like to just check the scalp really closely and make sure there's no cancer spots. Which I'm not seeing any at this point. Okay. And now let me just check the hairline. Mm-hmm. Let me just 
take a few notes here. Do you have any questions for me today? Anything at all? Any concerns after your examination? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for your patience and your kindness with me. That is about it for your checkup today. Um, I will hand over these notes to the doctor and she should be with you shortly, okay? Alright, just keep taking care of yourself, okay?